You already brought this up. You said you took a bit of steroids, but he said you never really took that much and you still had like natural strength. Yeah. Is that right? You were just kind of born with pretty good genetics. Yeah. I was very fortunate. I was never a believer in, in injectable steroids or pills. I, I, I just couldn't force myself to get on a, a regimen, you know, on a daily routine of uh, steroids. So, you know, I take steroids like um, twice a week, and then I'd forget to take them for the next week or two. And I says, ah, and Bruce Wilhelm, the guy, the guy I mentioned earlier, he, he called me all the time. As a matter of fact, I still call, talk to him two, three times a month. He lives out in California. And he'll call me or I'll call him. He says, Ken, you know, when I uh, was taking the steroids for the Olympics, and <clears throat> he said, do uh, you remember to take your steroids? And it was called Diana Ball. It was a little blue pill. But it was really strong, but it was uh, toxic, too, if you stayed on them for too long or if you took too much. And said, you know, I'm a young guy. You know, I didn't want to, you know, screw myself up. So, you know, even sometimes deliberately, I'd, I'd go off them for, you know, a month or two at a time. And I went on cycles. I, <clears throat> I had three cycles every year for six weeks. I take steroids for six weeks, and I I I won't take anything until till six weeks before the next contest. You know, let's say uh, I would take them for six weeks before the national championships, and that not the first two championships, the last two championships. Uh, I was in four altogether. I would do six weeks, have the meet, then I won't take anything until the next contest. Might be the world weightlifting championships. And then I take six weeks again, and then uh, let's say in the spring I have a regional meet, and I do six week cycle again. Everybody else in that weightlifting team just stayed on the steroids twenty four seven, and it didn't matter if they were one hundred forty eight pound class or uh, you know uh, one hundred ninety eight pound class, and you know they they knew my regimen. And they said, but Terry, God, you could be lifting so much more if you just, you know, do what we do. I mean, we had 148-pound guys military pressing, uh, you know, 360, 370. You know, I mean, that's right. back in those days, that was ridiculous. I mean, they do it now. But uh, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.